Newsflash, yeah. Amazon is rumoured to be working on a new music service for Prime members. Mm -hmm. Well, of course they are. Because they're Amazon! They're going to take over the world! But they have competition. Connor Knighton explains why the stream has become a flood. Connor, what's the deal? In 1999, at the peak of the recorded music market, around $40 billion of music was sold. The average music purchaser spent 64 bucks a year on music. Those were the good old days, and the industry has been declining ever since. Except, I was looking at my credit card statement recently, and I realized I've spent $120 on music in the past year. That's thanks to streaming services. Services like Spotify and RDO essentially offer every song ever made available on demand for $10 a month. Now that sounded like an amazing deal. I signed up for an RDO account last year, and now I'm spending more on music than I ever have before. That's gotten the music industry pretty excited, and it's why you're seeing so many of these services pop up. Apple's iTunes store revolutionized the music industry. Why pay for a whole album when you could just buy the tracks you liked for a dollar a pop? But now, why pay for a couple of songs when you could get every song ever for a few dollars more? Of course, there's some consumers who are never going to pay for music, but these services have done a pretty good job of making streaming easier than stealing. And by billing monthly, it never seems like a big expense. It's less than an album a month. Just remember, most people never bought an album a month. Apple might seem crazy for paying $3 billion for Beats, but with Beats Unlimited streaming service comes an easy way to convince consumers to spend $10 a month on music. That is well more than double what an average iTunes customer spends. Artists don't always love the streaming service model. Spotify has confirmed it pays artists as little as a sixth of a cent per stream, but those fractions of pennies do add up. Definitely less than album royalties, but remember, nobody's buying albums. Have you found yourself paying more for music with a streaming subscription? Is it worth it? Let us know at thelisttv.com.